It's coming up to 8.24 on the phone from Tokyo. It's Nick Smith, Japan strategist at CLSA. Very good morning to you, Nick. Good morning, Jim. Now, the Bank of Japan is going to meet on Thursday with the yen uh, pretty close now to a, a 24-year low. It was uh, touching um, 145 against the dollar um, last week. Um, Nick, w- where next for the yen? Can it get any weaker from here, do you think? Um, I, I think we've probably gone as far as we're going to go. Um, I mean, obviously, the, uh, there's a lot of volatility in there, but um, I think there are a number of reasons for, uh, for feeling, um, uh, feeling that things could change from here. So uh, I do think that the, uh, the uh, PPP, the uh, price per, um, purchase price parity for Japan, is, is a very, very long way from, um, from where the currency is at the moment. I think that ultimately the... Um, I think ultimately the the Bank of Japan is going to uh, to raise its weight, um, uh, um, rates a little bit, but I think also the uh, the important thing is even when the U.S. goes into uh, into recession, then it'll um, a- allow rates to come off a little bit, and that's mm-hmm. happened in in every re- recession before. So I, I think that would end up taking some pressure off the yen. The, the thing is that on, on Thursday, the uh, the Bank of Japan, Kuroda-san, is likely to be the last negative rate sort of holdout in the world, isn't he? So is, isn't this just going to make uh, the yield differential worse? Or are there other things that are affecting this apart from just the difference in, uh, in bond yields? Well, it is uh, a little uh, surprising in a way when you look at the, uh, the currency and say, when were we last here? Well, um, August of, of 1998, when the, uh, the yen hit uh, 147.66. But at the time in, in 1998, the economy was absolutely um, imploding. So we mm. had the, uh, the, the, the final real breakdown in the, uh, the banking system uh, that year. Whereas Japan is, is in a very different situation at the moment. Japan um, is uh, on consensus census forecast likely to have the uh, fastest growing economy of um, uh, uh, of major developed economies next year so it, it is a little bit surprising that the uh, the economy is quite as uh, as weak as it is at the uh, the moment yes it looks uh, a long way in terms of uh, monetary policy from the rest of the world at the moment um, but the rest of the world will be taking their rates back down again once they get into um, into recession. I think there's a decent chance that um, the um, prime minister here in Japan is taking a lot of stick for the uh, inflation that the country is going through at the uh, the moment. I mean, it's very small from everybody else's uh, point of view, but um, compared to anything we've seen in Japan for the last three decades or so, it's very, very high, and wages aren't going up. So the criticism means that um, Prime Minister Kishida is likely to put in somebody who's a lot more conservative than uh, than Kuroba. That doesn't mean to say that uh, we'll have a uh, a complete sea change in uh, in the way of looking at things. It won't be that dramatic, but I do think that uh, rates will go up um, with a new governor in in April next year. So it seems then that there's two potential consequences of this, or two important ones anyway. First of all, at at this level of the yen, Japanese companies must be so, so competitive now, mustn't they, compared to, well, almost anyone in the world? Well, that's absolutely true. I mean, one way of uh, looking at this is is the the real effect of exchange rates. So if you get trade-weighted yen, and then you adjust that for the fact that everybody else's prices have been going up and Japan's haven't, then even in July, um, it was uh, it was 58 percent weaker than it was at the peak in, in 1995. Um, and of course, August is a lot weaker than that. So it make, makes Japan absolutely brutally competitive. The first thing we'd, we'd like to see as a, um, a, a big stepwise uh, change will be the uh, reopening of Japan to, uh, to tourism. And uh, certainly Japan is uh, imminently about to take away all restrictions on um, on tourists. That should have a, a, a big effect. So uh, Japan was um, Japan was enduring pretty strong levels of uh, of tourism and, uh, until just before. So um, just before we hit we were hit by uh, pandemic, we had 31.9 million inbound tourists, um, and yet last year it was down to 0.2. Um, they're starting to tick back, but I think with the uh, the reopening, that'll um, that'll be a major positive for uh, for things here in Japan. But I think 
further out, yes, of course, I think we'll get uh, reshoring of, uh, of production here in Japan, allowing it to take uh, better advantage of the very weak currency. And on that tourist point here, where the Hong Kong dollar, particularly here in Hong Kong, because we're pegged to the US dollar, what a cheap destination Japan looks now for, for people uh, traveling from, from Hong Kong. It, it's absolutely dirt cheap, isn't it? It, it is indeed. So uh, it'll have a feeling of, yeah, let's go to Japan or we can't afford to go to Thailand. Um, <laughs> it, it's certainly an incredibly uh, cheap currency at the moment. So, uh, yes, I think uh, Japan's gearing up for that um, within the, um, the next few weeks. OK, Nick, thank you very much for telling us about that. We're Sadly, we've run out of time. That's Nick Smith, Japan strategist at CLSA in Tokyo.